Hello friends and welcome back. Today I am going to demonstrate the working of an accelerometer. I hope it turns out to be fun for all of us. So let's get started. First go to controlleverything.com and search for ADXL345. This is the sensor we will be interfacing today. Search for it. Click the subsequent link that follows. ADXL345 is a 3 axis accelerometer. The output data has a resolution of 13 bit. I am going to talk more about the sensor later in the video but for the time being these are some of its features. Today I am going to interface ADXL345 with Raspberry Pi using Python. The Python code can be found under resources. Go to resources and under python code sample. The code can be downloaded from here as zip file or it can be found on github. Go to github.com and search for control everything community. Search for our sensor ADXL 345 and click ADXL 345. Under python we have our python code and this is how our python code look like. Now let's proceed further and see what kind of hardware do we require for our sensor to work. For our hardware we require a raspberry pi. These are the GPIO pins of raspberry pi. Next we need an I2C adapter. This I2C adapter is available on controlleverything.com. The purpose behind using an I2C adapter is to simplify the connection between various I2C devices and raspberry pi. To make a connection between I2C adapter and raspberry pi, put the I2C adapter onto the GPIO pins of raspberry pi and press gently. Next we need our sensor that is ADXL345. For connection we require connecting cables. Make sure while you make connection that the brown wire of the connecting cable is connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes to the I2C adapter. To power up the Raspberry Pi we need a micro USB cable. This micro USB cable is to be inserted into the power jack of the Raspberry Pi. To provide Raspberry Pi with internet capabilities we require a LAN cable. This LAN cable is to be inserted into the Ethernet jack of the Raspberry Pi. If it happens so that you don't have a LAN cable, you can also use a Wi-Fi module. So this is all we need for our project to work. Now let's proceed further and see how to interface our sensor with the Raspberry Pi. To interface our sensor with Raspberry Pi using Python, we require a Python code. For our Python code, go to github.com and Search for control everything community. Search for our sensor ADXL345 and click it. Under python we have our python code. Before we jump into the code I would like to tell you that I have used SMBus library on raspberry pi. A link is provided so as to help for the installation of the library. I would recommend you to install the library first before you jump into the code. Now let's proceed further and see how our python code look like. Go to python and click adxl345.py. This is how our python code look like. Here I have imported SMBus library. Now I have imported time for some kind of delay. Here I am creating an I2C bus. Now I am writing onto the sensor with normal mode and output data rate is equal to 100 Hz. Now I am writing onto the power control resistor of the sensor to disable the auto sleep. Now I am writing onto the data format resistor of the sensor for various ranges and resolution. And here I am waiting for some time for the measurement to take place. Here I am reading bytes of data back from the sensor. The first byte that we receive is x axis LSB and the other one is x axis MSB. Similarly we are receiving data for y axis and z axis. Simultaneously we are converting data according to the format and the output resolution of the sensor. Here I am outputting my data onto the console of the Raspberry Pi. Now let's see how to upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi. To upload our code onto the Raspberry Pi we have to copy all the code and go to terminal. Here using vi editor create a file name same as that of your sensor and .py extension. Paste your code and save your file. Now to run your file, type python and your file name. Here is our output. When I change the orientation of our sensor, the value changes. And again, 
So this is how our sensor work. Now that we are done with the interfacing of ADXL3 Pro 5, let's talk more about the sensor. ADXL3 Pro 5 is a small, thin, ultra low power 3 axis accelerometer with a very high resolution that is 13 bit which can measure up to plus minus 16 G. Data is formatted as 16 bit 2's complement and is accessible either SPI or I2C digital interface. As per its application, it finds many applications like in handset, medical instrumentation, gaming and devices, industrial instrumentation and the list goes on. For any query or comment, you can contact us on controleverything.com. Make sure to post on our community page. We are happy to serve you. The sensor is available on controleverything.com and can be purchased from there only. For more interesting videos and articles, follow us on our Instruct tables. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. At the end, take care and thanks for watching.